dollars combined. Tonight's Mega Millions drawing, now $560 million, making the cash option $287 million. Tomorrow's Powerball jackpot even bigger. It's now worth $875 million. The cash option stands at more than $452 million. Our next guest takes us on a journey to La Playita del Condado in Puerto Rico, where a crab named Haiba gives a young girl named Nelly a glimpse into the beautiful ocean and a glimpse into her future. Melissa Cristina Marquez is a marine biologist and a Forbes 30 Under 30 honoree, and she dealt in important topics like conservation and diversity in STEM in her autobiographical new children's book, Mother of Sharks, which is beautifully illustrated as well. Melissa, thank you so much for joining us all the way from Australia, so I guess it's a good Saturday morning to you. We appreciate you being here. Um, yeah, let's, start so with the, let's start with the book. Haiba takes us on a journey. Uh, what does Haiba teach us about sharks here? Haiba teaches us that the diversity of sharks is really important. You know, a lot of people, when they think of sharks, they think of great whites, tigers, bulls, hammerheads, all really cool, all really cool. So he introduces us to a few of Right, and I just think what's neat as a person who grew up in the age of Jaws, that um, the way you do this book, it makes sharks relatable and not scary, which is obviously a good thing for children. I mean, you're a remarkable marine biologist. You've been a presenter on Shark Week. You're a regular contributor uh, writing about sharks and conservation. So why a children's book for you this time? Children are the future, and at that age, they are starting to form their opinions about different animals. And so I thought, you know, kind of get in early, uh, beat the jaws sort of thing. <laughs> uh, and you know, they're too young to watch the Meg too, so this is a great way of kind of just beating them before they see any of the scary stuff to kind of open them up to a little bit of awe about sharks. And not for nothing, but I'm realizing that I was a bit too young to watch Jaws when I saw it for the first time. Um, Same. Seriously, this book has some pretty serious wisdom. And you write, and we'll quote it, uh, female researchers, especially those of color, are like female sharks lurking in the darkness. We're here, but no one is paying attention. We can't be what we can't see. When did you realize that? You're living a dream and, and that people who might be inspired who see you. I was really young when I realized there weren't that many Latina marine biologists on TV, so I always wondered whether I could be that growing up. And so once I got to college and I had the world kind of reaching out to me through all the science communication channels that I had, being like, oh, I want to be you when I grow up. I was like, oh, I have the chance to be what I wanted to see. STEM could be better is that representation. So having people of diverse backgrounds and genders be in those leadership roles and have them be prevalent and visible in those leadership roles. Because as you said, you can't be what you can't see. And so it's really hard to dream about having a job or holding a position if you don't even know if that's possible for yourself. So the book is a great read for anyone, um, even if you are a bit afraid of sharks. What conversations, though, do you hope this book sparks between kids and parents? I really hope it sparks the conversation that no matter where you're from, your dreams are valid and you can dream as big as you want. Uh, I'm from Puerto Rico. I'm from a small Caribbean island that over here in Australia, people are like, oh, is that in Europe? Uh, so I feel like if a girl from a small Caribbean island can do it, you can too. And so I hope it sparks this conversation about representation and diversity of not just science, but also of sharks and showcases them in a different light that makes us think about them in a little different way. 
Yeah, and you know what? That's a metaphor for how we should see people, right? That's an absolute metaphor. Exactly. For it. Yeah, and it's a beautiful book. I, I, I have it. I don't have it in front of me, but we're going we're to show everybody. It's illustrated so beautifully. The colors are wonderful, as well as the sentiment. Melissa Christina Marquez, thank you so much for your time on this your Saturday morning. Her book, Mother of Sharks, is available wherever books are sold. And that's our show for tonight. I'm Phil Lipoff. ABC News Live is here for you all night with the latest news, context, and analysis. And you can always find us on Hulu, Roku, the ABC News, ABC News app, and of course, abcnews.com. Good night. Bobby Bones. You know, when you build with Morton Buildings, you build something that lasts. If you need a garage, insulated workshop, horse barn, farm storage building, cabin, office, warehouse, or anything in between, Morton can create a building that's perfect for you, that's attractive, that's easy to maintain, that's dependable enough to stand the test of time. Don't delay. Construction schedules are filling up fast. So now is the time to start planning your building project with Morton Buildings. Find out more right now at mortonbuildings.com. We're BMO, the bank coming to California. Now, you might be thinking, why should I trust a bank I don't even know? Fair question. For one, we've been around for over 200 years, through the best and worst of times. And because Global Bank ranked us in the top five safest banks in North America last year, rest assured, we're not going anywhere. So if you haven't heard the name BMO, it's only because we haven't met yet. We're new to California, not new to banking. Learn more at BMO.com. Many products are subject to approval and are provided in the United States by BMO Harris Bank and Member FDIC. DQ presents Picture This. You're getting together with all your best friends. Now picture all your best friends are actually the delicious ingredients of the new cake batter cookie dough blizzard. That's DQ soft serve, cake batter flavor, confetti cookie dough pieces, and DQ signature sprinkles. Oh, hey, it sounds like you got some pretty sweet friends. And that's worth queuing the confetti. Cookie dough! <laughs> the flavor party isn't going to last forever, so hurry in and get your cake batter fix today. Only a DQ. Happy tastes good. There's a new beauty destination you need to check out. JCPenney Beauty now has more than 300 unique brands in store. Find your faves or discover something new, like Billie Eilish and Dolce & Gabbana fragrance, makeup from Elf Cosmetics and RMS Beauty, plus Murad Skincare, Olaplex Hair Care, and more. Our experts are here to help you work the latest trends into any routine. And as always, shop 24-7 at jcp.com beauty. Inclusive beauty for every way you glow. JCPenney. Experience the golden age of cinema with the San Francisco Symphony, featuring music from E.T., Vertigo, Ben-Hur, On the Waterfront, and more. In a radiant concert with conductor Edwin Outwater and cellist Sterling Elliott. July 21st, outdoors at Frost Amphitheater, and July 22nd at Davy Symphony Hall. Get tickets and information available at sfsymphony.org. That's sfsymphony.org. Listening to ABC News, America's number one source for news. Now streaming here 24 7. At the top and bottom of the hour, you'll get live updates from ABC News Radio. Then breaking news, in depth reporting, and more from ABC News Live. Oh, I can't do that now. I'm working with the problem.
Oh man, dust. Man, you busy talking, you don't pay attention. That's the problem. Man, she needs to pay attention. Not talk and talk and talk. All she fucking does is talk, but she doesn't pay attention to her surroundings. Sheesh. Oh, you just passed me. You're too busy talking. On and on and on. Sheesh. She just, she lied. Oh, I don't have anything. Yes, you do. I see you buy another bag of crap. And stop telling people you don't, stop lying to people. Oh, Walmart, oh great, let's fucking go there too. Oh man, Oof. That was Yeah, I just did. Kevin asked me about, um, hey, you come about five, and I said, no, you know, I'll, I'll give him a call, he knows I'll call him. And then it was like, you know what, I don't feel like taking a shower, so I'm just gonna... Oh, yeah. I, I, I took it this morning, and I was like, no, I really don't feel like this. Yeah, no. <laughs> I didn't. Uh. Yeah, no, I, I took everything for it, but then I was like, you know, I really don't feel like doing that. Oh, yeah, and stop slamming the door. Sheesh. Patient, so impatient. Oh, man, West America Bank. Private security, that's interesting. Taking a picture of a pole. That is so weird. Well, they said we were going to make 92, so. Well, every store is different. They said. But I want to see if I can open up, um, see if there's a oh, way to open up that bottle. But I still got to go by Walmart. Years. I got to see if I can find some kind of dog spray uh -huh. that I can spray around my bathroom. Because he's wanting to go right in front of my bathroom door. And yesterday I stepped right in it. Mm -hmm. So I want to see if I can, but I want to see if I can find any. Uh, oh, yeah. So I got, that's why I'm going by Walmart to see if I can find, um, okay. Yeah, well, let's see if I can open up. Oh, oh, people don't pay attention over here. They, they, keep they you know what? They do that. I, I even mall, not um, or we, in the store when I go in there, I go in there just to waste time till you get here. Oh, yeah. And unless I'm, I've actually found something, oh, which yeah. I, I, did, I, was, I didn't want to shop today. Oh, yeah. um, oh. I'm only well and looking for, you know, I see if I could find uh, the stuff so we wouldn't have to go to Walmart. Oh. I hate that parking lot, but. Yeah. How to re remove. Oh, shut up. How to open a bottle of... That's good. How to open up a bottle of super glue that has seals shut. A knife. Or something sharp, like a card or something usually. Especially when it's like plastic. The it, it's in the bottle, but it's, it seals it's sealed shut on me. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much what you do. It's not like little sharp bits to poke like a hole in it. And, Oh yeah, it's like most things have pla a plastic wrap around it. It's up, like by well, this is one of the this is one of the larger bottles of super glue, so that's why I'm like I I thought about the nine plate. It was like you know what, this is a uh, large bottle of super glue I've got at home, but it's like you know what, can I open it without you know, and I have to pay for it to go get a bottle. So I, I had to get a bottle too um, one one time, and then it seals shut on me. So that's right. How to open up a sealed bottle of super glue. Oh, Okay, um, this is saying, which Say I, I kind of I, I thought this, was submerge it in hot water. And then if that doesn't work, use a uh, nail polish remover and really apply it generously. So it, I'm going to try that before I say, you know, we got to go out and get me some. But I've got, I still got, you know what, I'll go home and I'll try that first before I say, look, I am make, make two trips out. So go to, go to my place, I'm going to try this, see if that works. And then I'm going to have to give it. I got, then I gotta go out with Charlie. I gotta find some dogs for him. Something that will take him, him away and then put him back in the bathroom where I want to go. Fugitive. Escape fugitive. Okay.
It just it feels hotter at 89. Okay, excessive heat warning until 11 p.m. Sunday, July 16th. So it's already started. The last heat storm we had, uh, heat wave we had, it was global. How was the drive out uh, here? Oh, it's just a lot of traffic and police in the American Canyon. They're, they're working in the American Canyon. Well, you know what you can do? They're working here, too, um, down um, on Sausable, down towards my way. Yeah, I know that because I pass by all the time. But, no, American Canyon through right road uh, Safeway is just like hmm. a whole portion Speak of, the name of, of a how we skip the 29 that's, going, that's closed on that side. So, no traffic can go in and out towards where that park is at the end of that of American Canyon Road. Right. And they have the and the other and part of State Route 29 is going to be blocked uh, Thursday, I guess like Gosh. five to seven in the morning. Well, see, this had all stopped here in Tosco, and then they, they they started doing it again. I was like, oh, that's nice. Um, it's not. They're not. I mean, they're not really fixing it. They're just putting patches. I mean, that's kind of all they can do. They can't really, yeah, do actual work. It would take. A long time <laughs> to actually fix any roads. Like they need to fix the sidewalks. So. The sidewalks, you know, people have tripped and everything else because they're they're bad. Mm -hmm. But now we'll, we'll build uh, wineries and that kind of a thing, but we won't fix the sidewalks. Trees and stuff. It's a lot to it. It's not like a. It's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, the roots and stuff. Uh, they have to like certain trees can't be removed too. Like it's very yeah. Oh yeah, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot to it. It's, uh, yeah, they can't just go in and do something about the uh, inspections and stuff just to make sure they can like about damaging like the it, um, yeah like areas or of course always have precision too from people, so they have to take everything to account. Yeah. So I'm gonna try that super glue idea because that's what I was thinking: smudge it in hot water, and see if that works. And then if that um, that doesn't work, I'll know I have to pick up two things. But Charlie sees out and I do accidents right in front of the bathroom door, and it's like, no, Charlie, don't, that's not where I want you to go. doing any work for like paving and stuff it's actually the right time to deal with it. Just one area. All this, everybody, every city is working on something. Approaching a railroad crossing. I, I think he was just trying to figure out why he's not working, and I, I'm just like, you know, 
I don't know anything. You're gonna have to talk to Robert Richard. It's actually cooler since it's the bay side, so the bay yeah. right there, so it's really not, doesn't get that bad most of the time, so it's actually pretty easy. See, these are the summers I remember as a kid, and it's like, where's our hot water? Because last year it wasn't hot, and this year we've got it, and it's like, these are the summers I remember. These are the summers you wanted to pull right there. Like when motorcycles can come through, it's yeah. too easy for a car to pull up, you know, and do something stupid. I mean, it's legal. It's, oh, I know it's legal, uh, yeah, but I don't like it. Well, the governors actually did that. I don't so like it. For, it's safer for them, but not for everyone else. So that's kind of what the whole point. See, I, would, I would think that it's um, it's harder on them because if a car decides to go this way, guess what? You just ran right, you know. Oh, no. Approaching a railroad crossing. It's just, it, I just feel like it's dangerous for, for, you know, for motorcycles. And I don't like it at all. But then we gotta, I don't like our governor. seeing all the sweets. I was like, I want that. I want that. I was like, no, you don't. No, you don't. You're not getting eaten that. 